Over here in the bottom left, we have the only Protoss in this group. He is... SK Telecom T1 Rain. Over here in the upper right, we have our Zerg the Underdog. He is... CJN2 Songduri. Well, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited for this Tasteless to see how, how Rain will do in this group. And the thing is, ZVZ can still be quite volatile. You know, I feel like any of these Zergs could beat each other, you know, on a given day. Well, that's a volatile matchup. Mm. Um, by the way, uh, somebody was tweeting at me earlier today asking me what exactly is our sponsor. It's a clothing shop ah, yes. online. Uh, they have an English site, so you know. Ian at J-O-G-U-N-S-H-O-P dot com. Yep. And I'm spelling that out because I think if I just say it, <laughs> yeah, you so won't be able to spell it. Ian dot Jogenshop dot com. Yeah, Jogenshop dot com. Just check it out. Yeah, they're... Uh, Got they nice sponsor stuff. the GSL, which is like that's pretty pretty darn important, guys. It's one of the most important things you can do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it certainly. What? Is. <laughs> what? what were you I was at? just trying to think of the things that might be more important. I'm like, well, I guess you know, funding cancer research and stuff like <laughs> that to is stop Alzheimer's. Yeah, and things like you that. know, like uh, health wise, maybe health is a bit more important, but right after that, right taste, after this is that. GSL Coda like sponsors. the next second after that. Yeah, <laughs> just, it's it, not even second, it's like 1.5 on the list. Wow. So. Well, 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 wow. Looks like um, we have uh, Protoss so far taken up, probably going to do uh, the more modern fast expand here. It is uh, the build of choice for many. In the meantime, Sung Duri going for a hatchery first and going right into gas and pool. So that's a very safe way to do it. And by the way, guys, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about the, the cannon rushing on this map. The minerals are fine. You know, there were some problems with whenever a new map pops out, uh, sometimes it's like cannon rushing is too good on it if the minerals aren't placed well, just right. <laughs> this is something that they don't oftentimes test for when they make new maps. Is I think they will. Because cannon rushing is not as it's common but not as common on, 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 on pro play. It's common on the ladder once in a while. You're just like, ah, oh, this kid <laughs> is going to do this to me. All right, well, we're not going to play a normal game now. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, a lot of times it, they don't check for that, and then you find out, like, oh, two pylons to block this off and end the game? Yeah, yeah. if it's two pylons to block off, then That's it's a game over. <laughs> and uh, even three is pretty pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. So, Anyways, uh, everything looking good. Right into the Stargate play here. He didn't Rain. see that. No, that pylon was actually placed really well. If he had seen the pylon there, you would have gone back a little bit yeah, more, I'm sure. Yeah, that's a really good observation. It's so low, he's saying, well, there's nothing back there. i got to get out. Mm -hmm. Try to get my Overlord out of here before it gets shot down. Uh, third base now, over here in top center. Well, all, all good to see. I really like Sungduri's opening here, to tell you the truth, Tasteless. He's gotten the quick speed. He's getting the quick third base. Everything looks good. He's even grabbing a few extra Zerglings, knowing that uh, if he has enough of them out, there's not going to be any pylons in the map, but... His Overlord has pretty much checked the timings. Uh, he knows that there's tech before those two extra gates, so he's not going to be too scared. He's going to be able to drone up. Well, we got uh, the Lings now coming across the map. Pro is just going to turtle for a little bit here and um, try to clear out the Overlords on the map. Make that lights out. Lights out. Protoss is afraid of... Uh, or Zerg is afraid of the dark. Oh, is it? Oh, it almost flowed up. right out. Almost flowed right out. All right, he needs to. That was a close force field there. Well, you know, we're going to have I, to. I, you know, I like this build now a lot more than the Forge Fast, just to forge immediately fast expand, because I feel like it gives Protoss a little bit more control. Gives him a lot more early options, on. that's for sure. And oh by the way, my it, god! Wow. He didn't get the gateway up in well, time. Songduri getting a nice little lead to start, already killing off two probes in a century? Is that right? Yeah. That, that's really nice uh, from Sungduri. And in fact, he's going to get back here. He gets to scout everything that's going on. Yeah, he just wants to keep these lings alive as long as humanly possible. That's uh, right. And make the probes not mine. By the way, Rain, a little bit caught off guard, not actually moving his Phoenix around while this is all happening here. Um, and you know what else, Tasteless? Uh, I, one thing I do want to point out, what, that force field he did originally was actually a poor force field anyways because he hit the force field before 
the Ling's damage. You know, you always point that out when we're casting Nano off, for instance, how you love how you oh, wait till the shields, the shields are gone. Yeah. Like, those few extra seconds give you the force field a few extra seconds, which sets everything back. And so that was a little bit of a misplay by Rain anyways. Yeah, a little bit of a misstep. And, you know, I saw that Phoenix that was just parked in the bottom right. I feel like Rain uh, might be a little bit off today. He could be. You know, it's the first game, and it's not looking so good that for him yet. But ooh, nice pick up here on the Queen, at least. Yep. Uh, he's going to have to do it one more time here if he wants to get rid of the Queen. Uh, and he does. Let's see what else he could take out over here. I'm gonna kill off a couple drones. So far, so good with the phoenixes, but uh, I I do like Songduri's position a little bit more. As long as yeah. he doesn't lose too much more here, he's he's in pretty good shape having killed. He's gonna stop at five phoenixes, by the way. Yeah. So. Looks like. But uh, you know was what? Was it first that we saw go up to ten? Mm. It was one game we cast it, and now... Uh, actually, I think we saw first do that once, and I think we saw Rain do that once, and in the GSL, or WCS Korea Yeah, it was WCS Korea, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, if you start to do damage with it, especially against two base, it's so smart to just keep making that. Well, you can keep them, like, stagnant economically. Yeah, they're not exactly. Gonna, it's like they're, they're already sort of behind, and now they can never get ahead because... Mm -hmm. You, you could just keep sending Phoenixes out. By the way, uh, the Zealot's now coming up here. Yeah, he waited two warp-in rounds here uh, to actually warp in at that pile and behind where his third base is probably going to be. So Zealot's going up. Nice trick going down by Rain. Yeah, sending these Zealots in here now. Now uh, the Spore Crawler is getting in the way, and Roaches are now popping. It looks like he's going to try to get a pickup there on that Roach. Uh, no, in fact, he's not. The, uh, more Zealots now streaming through here. And if he can get rid of the rest of these drones, I hope we'll be able to get in there with the Phoenixes, but this is a lot of Roaches. Roach is very strong against Zealots. You know what? This is a ridiculous amount of damage chases. 21 drones killed so far. That's just gigantic. We're off these Zealots, it, it was a small risk here by Rain to make that many Zealots and send them up, because if there were already Roaches, it wouldn't have worked, but this was fantastic. Well, the Zealots are already just naturally the most expendable unit for Protoss. It's true. Uh, so that was a really nice move there by Rain to get in there and do that damage. And you know what? It's a good choice for this map because the map is so new and so underplayed. Anytime you have a new map, it feels bigger than it actually is because you're not sure exactly how to scout it for things like hidden pylons. That's a really good observation, Artosis. Yeah, when, it, when you're not as comfortable on a map, the map does feel like a bigger, scarier, it's, more it's confusing hard to place. Think of Belshire Vestige. I remember the first times I was playing that map taste. Ooh, oh, yeah. hold on, though. We actually oh. have the one Phoenixes go down right there. Almost two. Mm, there, These three Phoenixes becoming oh. on the edge of worthless right now. But, yeah. uh, you know, it, I think back to some maps, even Belshire, which is so small now, so easy to scout every location. Yeah, uh, sure. You know, but at first, it feels much bigger, and you don't know, like, oh, well, this spot is a good spot for a pylon, and this is, and that is. But... Uh, so Rain kind of using that against Songduri here. Yeah. Uh, we have the Twilight uh, Council coming down right now. Protoss continuing to tech up. And Rain should be able to keep his third base secure pretty easily right now, especially with the damage uh, that he dealt to Songduri. If Songduri decides to attack, for instance, that means he's not repairing the damage that was done, uh, which is going to put him at a risk. Somebody like Rain is most likely going to hold. Well, right now we actually have a lot of Lings and Hydras on the way. So I guess he is going to attack. So Songdori has to do damage with this, like a, a, a substantial amount of damage, uh, or Rain is going to take a pretty big lead here. Well, Rain is going to have a second Colossus and Thermal Lance out pretty soon. And he actually has four sentries, so I could see him definitely holding this. But hold on, we actually have that attack occurring right now. Some decent force fields going down, but he doesn't really have much more. So he's going to have to be very careful with these units. All right, he's coming back now, uh, kiting with that Colossus. Okay, and the second Colossus coming up here now. Now the Immortal goes down, which is actually fine because this is Ling uh, Hydra right now. And he's trying to connect. Oh, there you go. The, the uh, Nexus Cannon does go down. Weird time warp there. Um, not exactly <laughs> well placed. Well, and he basically cleans this up. And like I was saying, if Sangdori um, committed to an attack and didn't do damage, it would be very bad for him. And let's see if he could do any more right now, because so far it's been a little bit disappointing from him. Uh, and he's trying to, but, well, actually, you know what? Those Lings getting in on that Colossus have done a lot of damage, and the oh! Colossus! So, it's okay. Oh it's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, if I'm Songduri, oh, I am man. crying right now. He that needs is... to just keep that Colossus safe. 
Uh, that is that's so, so important, man. Oh, you know, it, you know, he's got to be kicking himself for that. It feels like Songduri is trying to play like a DRG style, but with two Colossus left alive and the Spire being this late, I don't even know if a Mutalist Tech Switch is is reasonable. We might see him go into Corruptors. That's uh, that is always reasonable to go for with a, a heavy Ling Hydro composition as well. But yeah, three base like that's this. really if he had gotten this, the other Colossus. This game would be in a completely different spot. Man, it would and still I would still put Rain actually ahead because he does have the third base. But with two Colossus well, you know, out, man, with, with units like the Colossus because they increment out of the Robo. Mm. Like if you suddenly lose two or three, let's just say the Viking shots or Corruptor shots or something, uh, and, and it, it's an unacceptable situation to do so. It's not like it was a big battle and they were going to die no matter what. Yeah, um, you are so behind. Because you will, you will forever, for the rest of the game, be that number of Colossus behind. As long as production's and, in order. And he know? already has his third Colossus out now. Of course, the shield's healing up. Uh, and he's going straight into a War Prism because he does have that plus two and blink almost done. So, looks like Rain is getting ready to, to get out there on the map. All right. The Phoenixes continue to patrol around here. Now, this is not for harass. This is just to scout and see what exactly is the Zerg doing since... The Phoenix numbers are low enough. They're not really useful for her ass. Maybe if you could nab a drone that was going to go make a base or something. Or I guess pick up a Zergling at a watchtower or something. That's about it, That's right? That's about That's, it. I mean, they might tank a few hits in a battle against Corruptors. Too bad they can't pick up Creep Tumors. That'd make it much more useful. That, <laughs> actually, I tell you what, I would I would go for a lot more Phoenixes if that were the case. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, here Zerg coming go. in here now. Ooh, some very good force fields coming down, but a lot of Corruptors coming in. They do snipe that Hurt Colossus rather quickly. Now, he might want to consider uh, sniping down the Warp Prism here as a bunch more units are going to get warped in momentarily. More Stalkers coming up here now. Uh, and the rest of the Colossi are gone. Now it is only the Warp Prism that remains blinking underneath uh, the, co the Corruptors. Now, the, uh, okay, so uh, Zerg won the battle to beat the Colossus, but may have lost the war that is this game. Well, he's lost a lot of units here, and now Rain has so many Stalkers, he's continuing to produce them. Uh, and Song Dury, in the meantime, just trying to get out as many Roaches and Hydras as possible to deal with it. But with plus two and Blink, Rain's army is looking really scary. Backing up now, blinking away. Uh, the Sentry's now in the front, but there may just be too many Stalkers. If he blinks just right here. Now, that was a big blink away. I would expect him to blink away only the injured uh, units here. Well, but, this is... But, you know, it, I think it's <laughs> barely enough. supply lead. Enough, yeah. yeah. And, you know, so, there's two situations for Protoss. There's one where they get really behind and are stuck only making stalkers, and one where they get really, really ahead. And only make stalkers. Yeah, and only <laughs> make stalkers. They don't have to, but they can because of the way they're microed, and that's one mm -hmm. of these situations now. 